Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cat Bob with Chris. Going for my face shave today, uh, it is the 22nd today, tomorrow being my second year anniversary of the channel. So that'll be giveaway day when I announce all the giveaways, hopefully all going well. Now, going for Barrister Man once again, as I work through my Barrister Man collection, and this one is called Diamond. And for those of you out there that don't know what Diamond is, it is pretty much grass, dirt, there's a sweetness, a sort of you can smell the bit of popcorn going through it, there's beer scent. It's extremely well blended, but you do get the notes that well, I get them anyway. And as you can see, this one has been quite well used. I absolutely love this soap. Absolutely superb. The brush for today is my turn and shave again, which I've really, really enjoyed this brush lately. So I'm sticking to it a little bit more than my others. And that is the 30mm Whip Dog Bore, which looks like that. And that's the handle, which is beautiful. Now I've noticed there's a few guys out there going for pretty much the same handle or a similar styled handle, but it's absolutely stunning, stunning handle. Well turned, well made. So straight into the soap. No blooming, just straight onto this dry soap with a slightly damp brush. Get a good load in here. Now it's a very short lofted knot, so it doesn't hold quite as much ladder or load that's a, obviously a longer or a higher lofted knot but because it's 30mm you do get enough in there for three passes just now this soap took out my 2017 yeah 2017 soap of the year I think from memory I'm not 100% sure but I'm pretty sure it did I love the scent on it I absolutely love it I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would enjoy a scent that smells like grass and so sort of, I mean it, it's supposed to mimic the smell of a baseball ground really and I've not been to a baseball ground since I was a very very young boy when I went and seen the Blue Jays in Canada I think they actually won that game from, from memory I think my mum said that they won it so bit of a novelty there right there we go beautiful brush is well loaded with the face. It was my intention to shave my head as well, but I sort of ran out of time again. I've worked a little bit later today than I, I thought I would, and then I'm obviously heading to work now on the trains. What a scent. Now one thing with Barrister and Man is the scents taste like the smell. Strangely enough, this tastes like grass and popcorn and mud and beer. You get that sort of <laughs> scent when you eat it. Not that you should run around eating your soaps, but if you are a soap eater, Barrister and Man is one of the tasty soaps out there. Maybe not tasty, but they taste like the smell. So if you want, if you find one that you like the scent of, probably taste like that as well. Take the tips. Absolutely no scratch or scratch from this brush at all for me. It's just lovely and soft. With just the right amount of backbone, the right amount of scrub. I 
I just know the more I use it, the better it's going to get this one. Because a lot of these here haven't even split yet. But they will over time. Absolutely stunning. What a ladder. Okay, here we go. I've got the carb razor once again. Surprise, surprise. I'm just going to count the dots on it. I'm pretty sure it's 19. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Yeah, so this is shave number 19 on the Gillette Super Stainless. Team shave. That was just a little bit rough, believe it or not, that first stroke. This side of the blade is lovely and smooth. Well, no, I don't know, it may just have been that first stroke. Still, it's playing through my lip tape. That's when I normally tell whether blades any good or not. Hmm. I thought it was going to struggle there, has it? That first stroke was a little bit rough. The rest out of it. I've been silky smooth. Now, as I said before, with the blade, it is not as good as it was. And that's understandable. It's 20 shaves on this blade, the next one, if it makes it that far. So far, it's very smooth. different to yesterday if I'm honest, just that first stroke. Plenty of slickness on there. I don't really have to test it but I'll show you anyway. Just sliding over. Lovely. Like I say, for me it's still not as good as No Belotta, Holy Call, Grooming Department, Vegan, even the Secret Arts and Vegan. I would say it's just slightly slicker than this. But the overall experience of Barrister Man, the sense, the ladder, it's exceptional. Wonderful, what a ladder. 
Right, cross the grain. This has got the C plate on here as well, which is 0.85 blade gap. Now Chris Kitchen, the owner and creator of this razor, is actually heading out on leave soon. I'm not sure when it is, he still hasn't notified me and I don't think it's on his website yet. Now, he did state that all the orders he has at the moment, or had when he last spoke to me, which was probably four or five days ago, would be completed prior to leaving. Prior to going on leave. So any new orders that might have come in since, I'm not sure whether they'll get fulfilled, I hope they do, but I'm not 100% sure. Still getting very close, it's not cutting the hair as smoothly as it was, but look, it's not uncomfortable. Like I say, I'll use this blade until it becomes uncomfortable. Not to the point that it's pulling my hairs out and things like that, but once it's really uncomfortable, it's pretty much unusable, that's when I'll stop using it. Now at the moment, it's not anywhere near that stage. I'm getting comfortable shaves. In very very close shaves. They're just they're just outstanding blades. I can't I can't talk these blades up enough. Yes, they're made in the eighties and seventies or whenever it was, but they just do such a good job. To see these blades are actually older than me, they're performing better and longer than most of these new Kai blades are. All the new blades that are in. Kai being one of the long, longest lasting blades on the market at the moment. Right, here we go, cross the green other direction. Audible feedback's great. What a close shave once again. Just round the lips.
I do have, surprise, surprise, another cool so straight on where the last one was. And I've just realised I've got no shirt on, so I apologise for scaring everyone out there. I can assure you I am human, I am not a fucking werewolf. Whew, what a shave. Right. Which hazel? Which hazel? Earthy scent, earthy scent. Let's just go original. Can't get much more earthy than original. So there we go. Oh, original Theus. Actually doesn't smell too bad, the original. Now in comparison to Humphreys, Humphreys to me smells like smoky bacon, which some people might think, oh that smells nice, but it's not a nice smelling smoky bacon. It's like smoky bacon that's went off a little bit. Right, I'll rinse the brush out while that's drying in. Now I did actually soak this brush today, pretty much the whole day in cold water in the sink, in the fridge, in the sink, in the fridge. I didn't have to, but I just thought I'll try and just accelerate the splitting of the other hairs. There is still a few thick hairs in here, but I don't feel them when I'm scrubbing. It just feels super comfortable, super smooth. So you're probably thinking, well, why do it then? Because oh, I'm a bit impatient. Look at that. Big old beast of a knot. It really is a beast. It just feels incredible. Time. She makes all the kids lunches, and I do my best. But I'm not the I'm not the best of the best of that sort of stuff. But I do my best. I do help out as much as I can. My wife just seems to do everything, and it's insane. We're just not really equipped. A lot of us blokes really to deal with that. Whether you're a woman's man or a man's man, it doesn't really matter. Right. Soap for today was Barrister and Man Diamond. Absolutely love this soap. I love the labels, the packaging. It's just insane. The scent's brilliant. Oh, just that grassy, earthy. I, I do feel like walking, like I've walked into Celtic Park in Scotland or, or Old Trafford, that's what it smells like. It just smells like a, an amazing football ground with the smell of the popcorn and the, you don't get popcorn in Scotland really, but that's what, it's just brilliant. I absolutely love it. A lot of this up great. It's still available quite a few places, I believe. You can still get your hands on it, which is great. The brush today was the Turn and Shave 30ml Whip Dog Bore. This handle has just been made to perfection. I cannot say it enough about this handle. It's absolutely stunning. It really is. Beautiful. The razor, the carve, Christopher Bradley razor. Solid brass, precision milled. There's a few videos popping up there now, Flash Bodum's just done one. I haven't watched it yet, Flash, I'm sorry mate, but I will get to it, I assure you. And it's starting to get out there and people are starting to really enjoy it. This only person that doesn't, you can't please everyone doesn't matter what you do but for me it's the best thing since sliced bread and uh, the blade in there was the Gillette Super Stainless the spoiler and to be brutally honest it really is the spoiler it's spoiled my probably spoil my experience even for my Gillette Nassets Rubies Seven O'Clocks Platinums you name it it's going to spoil my experience for a few blades I reckon 19 shaves on that blade today so 19 three pass shaves with pickups and I'm going for number 20 tomorrow for my giveaway it's a shame I couldn't get to 23 23 on the 23rd for my two year anniversary but it'll be the 20th shave on it tomorrow and I will be using it tomorrow because it's still giving me a super close shave with no, no nicks, cuts, weepers or any real irritation to write home about yes there's irritation there, there's irritation with every shave, you don't get irritation free shaves but it's kept it to a bare minimum 
just outstanding. I absolutely love it. Anyway, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. And I hope you're looking forward to the giveaway video. I am, if I manage to get time to do it. Catch you guys next time. Cheers.